Imagine you want to implement your version of the famous 2048 game. You have a 4x4 matrix. Some cells contain powers of 2 and you have to join the same powers by pressing the arrow buttons on your keyboard to eventually get a 2048 tile. And as a killer feature, you want to add game replays. The definition of them is as follows. After the end of the game, a player receives a link through which the friends of this player can watch the entire progress of the current game. Now, you want to find an efficient way to create and store all the steps the player has taken. Memento is a good pattern for this. The Memento is a behavioral design pattern that captures and externalizes the internal state of an object without breaking its encapsulation. It allows you to save and restore the state of an object, providing the ability to undo or roll back changes and also save a history of the state of an object. Let's add save and restore functions into our game class. The save function returns a state object containing all information about the game's current state. The restore function takes this state and restores the game to that state. Let's also create a game manager responsible for getting and storing the states of the game on each player's move. When the game ends, you will have an array of game states. With that array, you can replay the entire game from start to finish. Besides replay, with this design pattern, you can quickly implement the undo redo feature, which we already discussed in the command design pattern. There are only three actors here. Originator is the class whose state needs to be saved and restored. It creates memento objects to capture its state and can restore its state from the memento. Memento itself is also a class that stores the internal state of the originator. And Caretaker is a class that stores and manages mementos. It requests mementos from the originator and can use them to restore the originator's state. The memento design pattern enables preserving and restoring an object's state, thereby facilitating undo and history functions. This proves especially beneficial for objects requiring undo-redo capabilities or a state history record. However, this design pattern has its drawbacks. One of the primary disadvantages is the potential for increased memory consumption. This is particularly true for objects with intricate state structures, as storing their state history can be memory intensive. Nonetheless, it is worth noting that there are memory optimization strategies that can mitigate this issue. For instance, in our example, there is a clever optimization technique that allows the entire state of a game to be stored in a single 64-bit number. Reflecting on and devising such optimizations could be an intriguing challenge. In addition to memory consumption, the Memento design pattern can also introduce performance overheads. Creating and managing mementos may lead to a degradation in performance, especially for objects undergoing frequent state modifications. Moreover, the applicability of the Memento design pattern is limited. While it offers significant value for objects that demand undo-redo functionalities or a history of state changes, implementing this pattern may be excessive for simpler objects. That's all about the Memento design pattern. See you in the next video.